Hey guys, this is Poverty. And I've been working on the fighting code, and it has touched every piece of code in the whole game. So, um, where do I start? So I wanted to separate it out for, yeah, you can see this is running in the background. Um, I wanted to have it ready for server client code. Um, so, yeah, I brought in things as pointers so I can easily flip it so that uh, the attacker can be the creature or the player. The target can be either the creature or the player, and I just flip it. Uh, there was so much I had to add. Uh, <laughs> attack damage, attack speed, attack chance, block speed, block chance, and then defense point. Nothing for this one. No armor yet. So, it's just so much to it. Um, I didn't realize how much time and effort would go into it. I knew it was a big, difficult uh, um, function to write, a class. And it's basically feeling like trying to squeeze an elephant into a teacup. Um, I've had to change that teacup quite a bit to get, to get it to fit. So I got the fight manager, uh, and it has fights so that you can have multiples. Right now it's four, um, and basically it start fight, adds it to the list, you fight, and then in the fighting code it will actually uh, close off the battle. Um, let's see. So it just adds a new fight, and then the fight is just the timing. So it'll go down the list of all the fights that have been added to that list, and then process them. So let's look at, oh, come on, where are you? <laughs> so yeah, there are tons and tons and tons of files uh, has been changed, added, and adjusted. So is the battle over? Yes or no? Um, got my little clock going, current time. And I'm just going to scroll through really quickly. Now, I realize I need to uh, do a fight class and have both creatures and players inherit that fight class and then this fighting thing would just deal with those bits of information that way the fighting can be a, the exact same whether it's NBC player or creature and I realized I should just finish up I should get the fight <sighs> the hiccup start grumble grumble I should just get the fighting working I can worry about the feature creep later on a version 2 <clears throat> So that's exactly what I did. So instead of having a, you know, like a, a D20 as the random variable, I, I increased it to 200 because it just, the numbers didn't come out right. It seems like it was aiming higher than, you know, 10 and up. So I have increased the numbers. Uh, so the, like, attack chance, you got 88% out of 24. 40% chance of missing, which leaves 60% chan chance of hitting. And of course the player has a better hit uh, blocking uh, ratio than the monster. Uh, that's just to make the game more enjoyable, because if you always lose, you don't want to play. Uh, <clears throat> so lots and lots of code here. Um, let me just read the notes here. Uh, missed chance um, if you miss, it goes all the way down here. You've missed. If you did not miss, it moves on and checks uh, the target's blocking speed. Is it available for blocking? If it is, test it. Did he block? 25% uh, block chance uh, from the monster, which means 75% chance of not blocking. And it feels rather balanced. Uh, this will obviously change later on, so... Uh, blocks your attack and if he doesn't block <laughs> uh, else we hit the toast out of this target <laughs> knock the toast out uh, so this is actually going in and uh, doing the damage and we're testing it's like alright did we kill it no we didn't kill it so we just hit it did we kill it yeah we hit it and we killed it and then it goes on to battle over uh, 
battle returns zero if um, if it's a problem or uh, if it's not over one if the character our our character dies two if the monster dies so this one we killed the monster so it returns a two and then it processes it accordingly a one or a zero it doesn't do anything the uh, battle manager doesn't do anything so uh, I had this go back I, I actually canceled out the uh, uh, command line prompt so like over here you see that there's a command line when it's fighting I actually turn it off uh, let me show that off now <clears throat> so I added a case zero all it does is break um, not like bug error break but you know breaks it uh, breaks out of the loop um, checks the timing and then comes back. What's funny is while you're in battle, and if you use a keystroke, it cuts down to. Um, I should change that. What the duck? Try not to cuss in this. What the duck? Um, as the default. So if it's not zero, one, or two, if it picks up a number, then it catches it here. Um, so when it's battling, you press the keys, and um, it ends up going to command line this one uh, but it keeps running it runs just fine so um, all right back to the fighting um, so that's pretty much it from here uh, subtract the stamina add experience um, within the the player class is where it checks the levels um, removes monsters um, that's what this t return two is all about. So, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. oh, it's all the way at the top, I believe. Nope, it's all the way at the bottom. Bottom. New fight. That's where we started. Fight manager. Fight start. Here we go. The fight code for the fight manager. <laughs> fight, 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 fight. Um, it's just a simple loop. We're going to go through all the different type of battles. We're going to test to see if there's a battle going on in this slot out of the max slots. Um, I want to do the new and the delete so I have uh, allocated memory and I just realized I'll do it later. I'm making great progress with pushing myself with code, but uh, for now let's just get it done. I'll be back to do uh, version 2 and upgrade it and all the rest. Uh, so it, it cycles through, checks to see if there's a fight. If there is, uh, do the f let's see fight tracking where is it um here we go uh no oh here it is fight dot fight yeah i know kind of repetitive but it returns that that zero one or a two checks if it's greater than zero um if it's equal to two we go ahead and delete you know get a attack choice and then kill that creature so it removes it from both the creature manager as well as the map so that's and, and it just keeps looping and every time through if it's not been enough time has passed for an attack or a block uh, then it doesn't do anything but it keeps processing so um, took a while a lot changed with the character a lot changed with the creature and I added some extra code like check this out okay so our HP is oh, so it's easier seen uh, 10 HP over 10 and stamina is now 100 so I actually added uh, my own little back end stuff die which is killing the character so this is the message you get when you die you appear in the healers room waking up and now our health is down to 2 and stamina didn't disappear um, so we're back in the medical area. So let's go up to seal monster, shall we? Let's attack something. A roach. Roach verse. I went with feeble chunks as the name. Ding! I killed it. So let's look at. It. I missed. Um, the next one I, I hit, but uh, the roach blocks. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, don't know what he blocks with. But anyways, it's, it's still early. The whole point is getting the fighting. Then the, the roach attacks you and misses, you miss, you miss. Um, this is to find out what's going on. 
because um, it got some weird stuff going, but I got it fixed. I need to remove that note, but you start out with health two, down one because the roach hits you doing it uh, one point of damage. Then you hit the roach, then you hit the roach, and the roach dies, and you gain experience. So you'll notice that the stamina is also has dropped. So let's look at the character sheet. So there it is, health four out of 10, Stamina, 94 out of 100. Level 2, Experience 1. Um, so let's look at the screen. Let's attack again. And yeah, it should be 1 and 2, but meh, it works for now. Um, I just need to get things functioning for November 15th so I can <laughs> post it somewhere and says, Come check it out! Voila! It's So let's look at our character sheet. We killed another little creature. It's now 2 Experience. Yeah, still level 2. Let's look again, attack, roach. Um, so it hit us, and voila, we killed it, and we're now level three. Sometimes the new level highlights everything with that bright green. Other times it's just the bars. Why it does that, I don't know. It's just one of those things that's gonna cause problems later on, but for now, meh, it's fine. Look, there's now nothing here. North, more things to attack. So now against the snake, um, our health is growing faster than it can be damaged. Um, so I'm just going to go through uh, current six. Yeah, so it hit us. Attack three. Now the rat. So as you can see, now level four. Character sheet. Um, health is rising, stamina is rising faster than the mon monsters can destroy us. Level 4, experience 6. The experience required for each level goes higher and higher real quick. So I think it's about 7 or 8, or uh, 6 or 7, where the... Um, so now, uh, level 6 or 7 is where the XP kind of gets large quickly. But for now, it's kind of just easily rewarding you. Only one thing to attack, mud monster. So you see it's blocking, or you block it, it blocks you. It's got a lot more health. See, it took five points of uh, damage. Monsters right now cannot regen health. Um, you can regen health while that you're fighting. You can regen stamina while you're fighting. As you can see, we're already down to 30, well, now 37. Look at the character sheet, and we're up to eight. So aggressive monsters give two points of experience. Creatures give only one. This can be adjusted. So, so far, this is just a starting point. Still level four. And there's actually some other creatures around. So we're going west, south, south. We're exiting the castle. South, south to the dock. And we're on the boardwalk. So we're going west. And here we go, clothing shop and tailor, going west again, food shop and bakery. Guess what's in the food shop and bakery? Oh look, they've got a rat problem and a roach problem. Yummy, let's not eat here, but let's fight. Attack the rat, voila, come on, there's one, one more and it's dead, there it is. And now for the roach, again, just two points of health, ooh, it got us. And we killed it and we're now level five. So here we go, level 5, points of experience, 10. Uh, and there's a lot more to be done, but the fighting is working. The leveling is working. And as of this point, all creatures are now dead. There's nothing left in the game to fight. Um, so the goal, let me go ahead and quit out of this. Um, load 1. Uh, I believe it does not update. Let me just go back into the castle. Throne room. Oh, it did update. So it always pulls in um, the information. There we go. There's the mud monster again. So right now I need to save uh, all the creatures to the save file because right now it's not being saved. So every time I start the game, it pulls in the file for um, a fresh map. Um, this way, if you attack something and it gets away and it's not dead, uh, it's recorded and the damage is recorded so that next time you load the game, uh, 
you can actually um, just go back and do some damage. So right now this is kind of cheating. It's not meant to uh, um, to go higher than level five, but you know, hey, let's kill some creatures that you've already killed before. So um, fighting is good so far. Um, more to go. So this is two weeks down, and I'm already at like 35 and a half hours into this fighting code, and to have it work like this, more to go, more to go. There's no skills, no items, no equipment, no weapons, uh, no armor, um, but the fighting is working. So this is a starting point. I just got to start somewhere. Uh, next after fighting is... Uh, questing and then once the questing is done I believe it can be a full game even though it's going to be short and simple and this is just like a proof of concept that it is functioning it is working and uh, more next year so let me uh, put out of this let me show you something um, game file that's the version number so let me save it as version 1. Nothing changes between version 1 and version 2. I just updated it in the software. So let's run this again, shall we? Show me. Go, go to here. Run it. Let's, oh, it sees there's files there. I can load something. Let me load something. Oh yeah, let's load this guy. Error, version file does not match. This file needs to be deleted. And there you go. Press any key to continue. Bam, it's been deleted. You can't load, not a valid choice. And we're forced to create a new character. Um, let's just go ahead and quit out. Oh good, okay. Um, going back here, you noticed that the save file is gone. So, kind of working on the delete, uh, delete character. Eh, it's a little rough around the edges. I still need to clean it up but I'm getting there. This way the save file, the versioning for the save file functions. Um, so it basically wipes out any characters prior to this point, but hey, you can pretty much beat the game in 20 minutes. But uh, yeah. Um, so what is next? What's next is getting the questing done. And I've already started on a bit of it. Uh, so I've got questing, NPCs, um, items, what else, what else, what else? It's just another conglomerate, so it may take me longer than the... I got 21 days left. It may take me longer than 21 days to actually get the questing done. But if I do, the game will be actually further along than I've ever had it. Um, the questing actually makes it a complete game, which means I can give it an ending. So there will be a beginning, a middle, and an end. Even if it's short, at least it's something. So that's it. Um, only 14 hours this week. Um, I took some vacation, and uh, I just couldn't focus. <laughs> uh, rather pathetic. So um, I did my best, and I spent time thinking, and came up with a better way of what I'm doing than what I'm doing right now. And I'm like, ah, that's going to be version 2. So even though it came up with a good way of improving, that's just feature creep. And I just need to get something done by the November 15th mark. Um, so I, you guys can hop on and create any character name and play. Um, I think after November 15th, I will rewrite the, the name of the game and name of the monsters and actually put in some stor story so it's a playable game. And the point is just to tell a story. So, that's it. Um, I've got a big idea, and this is just a starting point. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to expose any of the idea uh, on this version or for the ending of 2017. But, um, yeah, questing is next. Uh, thank you for watching. Sorry for rambling on. And that's, that's it. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for watching.